ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Tiger Den. I'm Robert. And I'm Thomas. Today we are presenting episode six, our Christmas special. First off, we'll go to Alex with the top 10 countdown of the best Christmas gifts. Well, hello there. The holiday season is upon us, and I know what you're thinking. I have no idea what to buy my significant other slash 72 cats I've named after Shakespeare characters. Well, I have the answer for you. Here are the top 10 things you should buy your significant other slash cats this holiday season. Number one, the yodeling pickle. This is a pickle that yodels for $13.99. It is the perfect gift for your significant other because when you're not with them, they can listen to this yodeling pickle as they go to sleep and think of you. Number two, Harvey Foods Real Hardwood Smoked Bacon. I don't know the price on this exactly because it's not listed, but this is Steve Harvey's original line of bacon, and it takes only two minutes to cook in the microwave. Imagine how thrilled your partner is going to be when they can get bacon in two minutes. This, that's why this is number two. So, definitely go buy that one. Number three, 50 pounds of egg powder. Yes, 50 whole pounds of egg powder. This is $729. Now, I know what you're thinking. This is way too expensive. You're thinking, I, I love my significant other, but not this much, not this much. Well, you know what? This is gonna be the best present they ever get in their whole entire life. They're just gonna open the present, they're gonna see this pile of dust, and they're gonna be like, What did you get me? And then you're gonna say, it's eggs. And they're just gonna like weep softly. They're gonna be so thrilled. The next one is the Dora the Explorer wig for $11.96. This doesn't need to be explained. Everyone wants a Dora wig. This one is crazy because it's only $32.99. It's a hot pink men's metallic bodysuit. Now, this, this is a gift you're, you yourself will enjoy too, getting to see your, your partner or cat in a pink bodysuit. Now, now they're gonna look stunning. Now you can take them to your work Christmas party and everyone will be like, dang, that couple is, is good looking, man, yeah. The next one is $690. It's the latex lizard frog bikini suit. It's a combination of a frog and a lizard, and it's like latex and in a bikini. Number eight for $29.50, the Robbie Rotten and Sporticus t-shirt. Nobody, nobody dislikes Robbie Rotten or Sporticus. They are the ultimate TV power couple. Why would you not want a t-shirt with them on it? Number nine for 8227, rubber latex socks. This is gonna be great for any fancy event they have in the future, anytime they're gonna be cosplaying, it's gonna make them feel confident, it's gonna make them feel radiant, it's gonna make them feel beautiful. And you are gonna love seeing their feet and these latex socks. I mean, they're, they have ruffles on the end of it, super fancy, but yet at the same time can be worn with a ca on a casual day with jeans and a t-shirt. Finally, number 10. This is the ultimate gift you could get anyone. $785. It is a 20 foot inflatable gorilla. Inflatable gorilla. This is for sale on eBay right now. Inflatable gorilla. This is breathtaking. It is a beautiful piece of art. If you buy this for your significant other, they're gonna know that you're cultured 
they're gonna know you have an appreciation for the arts. They're gonna be like, wow, you obviously like are a very intelligent person because this is just breathtaking. This gorilla is stunning. And to have this out in your lawn, you're gonna be proud of where you live. Crikey, Alex, that was such a great package. Next up, we have Gavin with our question of the week. Um, definitely not coal. Maybe like, probably just like candy or something, you know? Candy, not coal. I feel you. Anything else? Um, uh, money. Can't ever go wrong with money, so. <laughs> Tickets to see Luke Bryan. How about like candy or anything, like small? Mm, I don't know, maybe. Candy, you know, it's great. Great stocking stuff, huh? Hmm. I don't know. Probably just like, probably just candy. Anything else like? No. Just candy? Yeah. There's just a lot of assorted candies, chocolates, little, 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 um, what do you call those? Like toys from, and yeah, just mixed treat, treat in a sock. Sounds good. Um, so. Well, I do love the Vikings, but I'd like some awesome earbuds or something. I think that'd be cool. Candy. That's it. Uh, money would be nice, too. And, I don't know, gift cards. A pair of new socks. What type of socks? Off-brand. I want some coal. What a great question, Gavin. Now let's take a quick commercial break.
Now that we're back from that amazing commercial break, let's go to top five Christmas songs with me. Number five. Jingle Bells. It's one of the best known and commonly sung American songs in the world. And published under the name One Horse Open Sleigh. Number four. Harry Potter theme song. Number three. Wizards in Winter is an instrumental track by the Trans-Siberian Orchestra released in 2004 on the Lost Christmas EP. <coughs> <laughs> Cold weather outside. Its musical style incorporates progressive rock, symphonic metal, heavy metal, and classical music. Number two. Frost the Snowman was written by Walter Rollins and Steve Nelson and is a popular Christmas song which was first recorded by Gene Autry and the Cass County Boys in 1950. Number one, White Christmas is a 1942 Irving Berlin song reminiscing about the old-fashioned Christmas setting. According to the Guinness World Records, the version sung by Bing Crosby is the number one selling Christmas hit of all time. <laughs> I mean, it's a very unfortunate setback with the uh, construction that I'm very worried about not being completed until I graduate, but other than that, I don't really care. So. Uh, I feel bad because now I can't get through the halls uh, and the stinks in the hallways because yesterday it smelled like straight butt. Um, I think they just need to grow up, honestly. That's about it. They're fake. Uh, I don't know. I don't think it really matters, in my opinion. You know it won't be done for your career in high school? Uh, well, that's too bad. I guess I'll just have to live with it. Well, construction has been more probably of a noise conception to some of the classes. So it kind of distracts some of the students and also those who have a fear of something happening it kind of loses their con their uh, concentration. They're fake for that. Like, I need to get to class. Like, it needs to hurry up. Like, I'm always late because of it. So, yeah. Um, I mean, I don't really care. I'm a senior, so I won't be here next year anyways. Drop out, like I said, okay? I'm going to take their job and then finish it so everybody be happy. And then I'm going to go to their house and eat their food. I feel like they did it on purpose because they don't like the 17s. I think you're right. Me too. What the heck? Wait, when? Is that actually a thing? I'm kind of upset. I didn't know that. Wait, when did that happen? Why? Like a week ago. You didn't hear? No. Oh gosh. I'm bummed. Well, Michael, way to lie to those people. Good job. Now on to our commercial break. Good. But. I just spelled this wrong. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what is
pretty good. Now that we're back from that amazing commercial break, let's head over to BART and uh, learn how to make a paper snowflake in less than two minutes. Hey you, did you forget to buy your significant other a Christmas present this year? Well, I got just the present for you. All you need is some tape, some glue, colors of your choice, preferably Christmas, and a cutout of your significant other, and paper, and scissors. First step, you're gonna have to fold it to make a triangle, right? A nice, straight, pretty triangle. Yep. You got this little slice. Got this little slice, call it a hot dog. Cut the hot dog off. Next step, fold your triangle once again. Now you got a smaller triangle. Now you fold it one more time. This is the final fold, the most important. Get your little scissors, kind of press it down, you know, get a nice, nice firm edge. Now you got your final triangle. Now if you unfold it, you can see that this little piece, the piece that ends up on top if you make it a right triangle, that's your corner pieces. So that's where you do the circle cutting to make it a circular snowflake. So just give it a little, nice little haircut, you know? Right there. Cut it off. Now, if you want a little, nice little uh, designs on it, you can do this. Cut a triangle. It's all about your triangles. Make sure and cut it all the way through too. I'll give it a couple more uh, designs. Now this is probably the best gift you can give your significant other. Came straight from your heart, you know? And maybe one more. Now you can do other designs, but this is just how to get started so you can look at how those other designs would look. Now you got your basic thing. Now you're going to unfold it without ripping it. Got your basic triangle or your basic snowflake. So get your family member. Flip her over. Get your glue. Get it nice and gluey. Right in the middle. Because they're the middle of your heart. They mean the most to you. And that's how you make a snowflake for your family member. Wow, Bart, what a great video. Next up, our first episode of Norman High Cops. I'm, uh, I'm Officer Law. This is Detective Justice. We're, uh, we're patrolling the streets of the school, making sure there's no crime about. We got a little, uh, we got a little tip of a local graffiti artist that had been hitting up the walls of the school. The perp was last seen at uh, Prefab A. Yeah, we got some, uh -huh. we got some, got some something going on up here. Hey, hey, disperse, scatter. No. You gotta, you gotta intimidate these kids. If they get one ounce of, uh, if they get one ounce of fear, they'll prounce on you and they're never going back. Kids are vicious. Yeah. These are mean streets. These streets, crime doesn't stop. You know, you know what time it is. Prime, prime time, time for, for crime, crime time. time. Yeah. Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Bad boys, bad boys, what you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? See this guy? See this guy? 
just looks like the tip we got. What's this guy? Yeah, this might be our guy. All right, it's maybe the perp. Let's pull up. Oh, we got. Oh, we got some interference. Let's go we got an A352 on uh, westbound on uh, Norman High sidewalk. Uh, looks like a sketchy kid in a should gray we, hoodie. Should we advance? Should we? Oh, nope, we're advancing. Excuse me, sir. Excuse Morning. me, sir. Can you come in for a minute? Uh, what, are you, what are you doing out here, buddy? Just walking around, just just having, just doing my own thing. You walking know what I'm around. Saying? You seen any uh, seen any shady figures? Uh, you guys got some black clothes. You're pretty shady yourselves. That is, that's a good point. Yeah. Well, well we're part of the Norman High Task Force. Uh, yeah. We got a tip, uh, graffiti artist around the area. Yeah. You know anything about that? Man, I don't know a thing, bro. I don't know. Why don't you ask? What are you talking hey, to me hey, for? Hey, 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 He's out the road, let's get him. One sec, I gotta raise my windows. Do we have to sit on foot? Detective. Got it. <laughs> Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. <laughs> hey, friend new. Why don't we stop right there? Oh, why don't we stop right here, buddy? That's a... He's clean? Hey, <laughs> hey! He's clean. All right, let's just, uh, let's just turn around. Let's just turn around here. Hands on your back. You turn and start questioning him. Yes, sir. Dispatch, we got the perp. He's a uh, woman high sidewalk. Uh, we'll bring him in a second. Did you paint these walls? Did you graffiti these walls up? You see this graffiti? Sir, look at this. this. Look at this. There's no graffiti. Oh, sass mouth. Oh, one of those. All right. What do you think you are? Let's take him back to the station for interrogation. I think, I think I'm just a dude. I didn't do anything. All right, let's go. I don't know. I can break these cuffs. Tell us. You can't break you those can't cuffs. You can't break these cuffs. I sir. can break these cuffs. You can't break those cuffs. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you're saying you can will be held against you. You have the right to an attorney. Probably. But you know you don't have the right to? Crime. Oh. Let's take him in. Yeah, we picked the perp up on the left side of the high school. He's been terrorizing these walls for too long, but uh, today's the day where he finally meets the maker. Not literally, we're not gonna kill him, but uh, he's, he's gonna go to prison. Let's roll out. That's how you do it. We've been looking for you for a while now, friend. Man. What are you thinking, boy? I didn't, there was no graffiti on that wall. Well, okay. Are you seeing this? Are, you, are we looking at the look, same look wall? Look at this wall right now. Boy, the there's nothing on that wall. That's how the gangs do it nowadays. They they hide it real well. Gang gang. Oh, is that a is that a confession? No. Are we recording this? I didn't I didn't say I didn't say nothing. You got that on tape? Hey, no, what? Hey, you got that on tape? Hey, I didn't I'm um, say that again. Say that again to the dispatch. Nope. Dispatch, listen here. Nope. Tape don't lie, boy. Tape don't lie. I Just didn't, like I didn't say lie. nothing. I don't know what you you got any about. friends out here still lurking around here? Nah, I'm a lone wolf. Lone wolf? Alright. Well uh what Okay. <laughs> I'm lonely on the streets, boy. Well, I ain't got no fam. No fam? Oh, well, that's kind of sad. I'm alone! That. Sorry, man. Everyone needs friends. Hey, it's alright. Hey, don't worry about it. It's okay. Alright, we cool, man. We cool. Yeah, we cool. Just kidding. Hey, I didn't do nothing! Just kidding. Let's get out of here. Hey, right, let's go hey. to the station right now. Hey! Let's go. Nah, nah. The doors, you got door trouble. No, no, no! Get <laughs> Man. Keep walking. Boy, if you don't stop, Keep I'm walking. Gonna... Boy, what do you think this is? Crimeville? I can see crime from a mile away. This is pretty clear. You're, you're right in front of me. I know. What are you saying to me, boy? You know what prison food tastes like? No. Sidebar. Sidebar. So, what do we have to do? I know it's not uh, technically allowed, but we gotta get confession. Oh, we should torture him. We gotta be home soon. Like. We, we should torture him. We don't get paid for overtime. We're gonna torture him. We're, we're torturing him. Yeah, we're okay. torturing him. All right, let's go. All right, let's go. What? Wait, what did you just talk about? Uh, another room with some Uh, Boy, get up. You're coming no, with me. No, we're, no. Gonna, we're gonna take you home. Take you home. That's all right. What are you uh, doing? We're gonna, some, we're gonna get some water. Are you thirsty? Thirsty? Yes. All right, let's get you some water. All right. Did you do it? I you didn't do anything. I was set up. Want to confess? I was set up. Yeah. How's that taste, boy? Did you do it? No, I didn't do anything. Don't lie to us, All boy. Right. Uh, fine, fine, I did it. Hey, congrats, good job. Good job I did it. Let's I want to be off work by now. Yeah, Jeez. we can. Let's go home. What did I do again? Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. You're going to jail. Okay. You want to wait dinner after this? Not really. Okay. Well, okay, Joe. 
Yeah, you're gonna hang out in here for a while. See you in five years. It's dark! Wow. Thank goodness justice never sleeps. Now, to close out our final semester episode here at Tiger Den, let's go to an emotional interview with the Tiger Den cast. Oh, you know, it's a... It's a, great, it's a great environment, you know, to further our skills and, uh, you know, the editing and movie production field. You know, it, we have a lot of resources and, you know, it's it's like a big family because there's, there's really no competition. I like it quite a bit. I feel like I've got a lot of freedom with what I do in the class, so that's always a, a perk. Uh, I liked how it taught, taught me some video editing skills and to be a bit more outgoing in general, like when you're making videos, you know, have fun with it. And, you know, more you build up your self-confidence being on camera, like that. Uh, freedom to do whatever you want, more or less. Really just like, almost the responsibility that we're given. It's not like normal classes where we're just like, assigned a direct thing. We get a little bit of freedom to choose. Um, I really like the creativity and uh, like all the freedom we get to go out and do really what we want and um, I mean we've done Tiger Day Thanksgiving, we've done all sorts of stuff and like there's a lot of classes and some other media classes where you really like to find to do certain stuff and, and here you really can do whatever and I like that a lot. I think maybe the marketing and you know the overall advertising campaign probably could have been adjusted by our manager Davis. You know, uh, he probably could have given us a few more advertising resources. That's a hard one. Maybe like I always enjoy doing like collaborations with other people. So if we did like more group hey. stuff, that'd be fun. Hey. We already do a lot of group stuff though, so that's I don't know. Maybe not having someone crunching really loudly. In, in the background whenever I'm doing stuff, or whatever that noise you're making is. Not much, it's a pretty good class. Not much I dislike. Maybe if some people were a little more, like, dedicated, but it's a small number. I don't know, sometimes I wish we had, like, more, like, on, maybe, like, a subject to do, or maybe, like, a group where, like, maybe we'd have, like, one group do one thing and then another do a certain thing, you know what I mean? Maybe have, maybe, like, you know, like, episodes of stuff, so we make sure we have some returning things and then we have other creative, creative stuff, but, like, I feel like some weeks we should have, like, defined things we have to do by some people, and then other weeks those same people can do whatever they want. I don't know. Probably the hosting that I did for uh, episode four, along with my uh, co-host Alex Elmore. Uh, you know, we had a very good uh, run together. Uh, we made each other laugh. And I think we made some. Uh, got us a few more subscribers and viewers, so you know that's always a plus. But um, you know, it was pretty fun because we just kind of, you know, it was more of an improv host hosting job than anything. So you know, we had a pretty good time. Either when we ran over the car with the car, the little RC car with the car, or when the wobble bubble got stuck on the roof. Hey, that's my fault. <laughs> my favorite moment of Tiger Den would probably be the first time we filmed Toy Talk. Because it was fun then and now it's not. <laughs> um, probably seeing the work I made put on TV. Probably one of the Toy Talks. Seeing that wobble get run over and still survive was pretty amazing. Um, probably my favorite moment was when I was uh, being trampled by in a video by Drew um, for my Arthur video and like it looked like I was crying and like his foot was like and like the video was ending with him like hit with his foot on my face and it was just it was a lot of fun. 
I am, and I am exi- I am beyond thrilled about it. Oh, definitely. Yeah, one hundred percent. Yes, I will. I will, in fact, be integrated next semester. Confirmed. Yeah. I'm graduating before next semester, so I'd like to, but probably. All right, that's all we've got for you. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time on Tiger Den. Bye.